Hey, church family. Want to tell you about a new song that we're going to be introducing for our congregational worship. It's called You've Already Won. It's an incredible anthem of victory, celebrating what Christ has done for us and how that gives us strength and grace to face the trials that we have today. We're always very intentional about what we sing. And whenever we introduce a new song, we're very intentional about that too. We've put a lot of thought into it. And so there's a few things that we look for when we're doing a new song. For example, first of all, we wanna make sure that the song is scriptural, that it's deeply rooted in the word of God, and that it has great things to teach us that reflect the truths of scripture. Second, we wanna make sure that the song is edifying, that it's something that we can come together and minister to one another and to help us to edify and build each other up. And then third, we wanna make sure that the song is singable. We wanna make sure it's something that our church is gonna be able to sing well. I think this song is a slam dunk on all three counts. So let me tell you a little bit about it. First of all, the song is deeply scriptural. Every line, every verse, every chorus is imbued with references and teachings from the Bible. For example, the first verse says, there's peace that outlasts darkness, hope that's in the blood. There's future grace that's mine today, that Jesus Christ is one. So I can face tomorrow, for tomorrow's in your hands. All I need you will provide, just like you always have. That reminds me of Philippians 4.19, which says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. The chorus says, I'm fighting a battle you've already won. No matter what comes my way, I will overcome. I don't know what you're doing, but I know what you've done. I'm fighting a battle you've already won. It reminds me of Romans 8, 37 and 39, which says, In all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And the bridge reminds us of that day when we're with Christ in heaven. It says, I know how the story ends. We will be with you again. You're my savior, my defense. No more fear in life or death. Revelation 21, the first four verses tell us, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will be with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. This is such a great song for us to use to edify each other, because every Sunday, there's gonna be some of our brothers and sisters that are going through trials, and we may have no idea what they are, but this song reminds us that we already have victory through what Christ has done for us, no matter what we may face today. It's a beautiful song that I know as you take the time to listen to it and sing through it, you'll learn to love it just as much as I have. Will you take a moment just to listen to the lyrics of this song?